No longer having use of a spacious car to sleep in as a way to avoid the burning torture when in the flat, I now suffer a tortured sleep every night. Prior to having generous free use of that car from 2017, I would sometimes sleep outside, mostly in parks. Sleeping in a shop or business doorway on a busy street at night, as many homeless people do, would have been the last thing I'd ever consider. I would rather not sleep outside again, but the horrific nights in the flat and temporary but lingering burning and aches during the day did have me recently seeking a form of nightly salvation from pain and persecution. So I typed a letter and made some copies, then posted a few. I had given up hope of receiving any reply as it's nearly two weeks since posting those envelopes but yesterday I did receive one email The flat come torture chamber of 11 Deck Court does have one redeeming feature and that is the view from the balcony The scaffolding surrounding Deck Court hasn't really restricted the view and there's the pigeons. You might know I'm quite fond of pigeons. So fond, in fact, one became my civil partner before she vanished from my life a few years ago. Friendly and brave as some of them are, I had hoped they would take on board a request I made. I asked them, should they feel the urge to have a shit, to please refrain from doing it here and either go shit on the ultra low emission zone cameras or practice their targeting skills on the heads of the residents but will they listen? Their refusal to do as I ask has meant my implementing some deterrence and so they can no longer use parts of the area to the left for resting and preening but it's not the pigeons I want to draw your attention to but some of the guys from Iquans who are working both inside and out of our block they were outside yesterday and I presume saw me on the balcony because what was being said was definitely about me. Without a doubt they too have been allowed in on the big secret that so many others have and whatever it is, the result means I occupy a kind of subhuman status. There's a boy who lives in this block, I think in flat 6. He might have been one of the three boys heard in a recent video as I exited the block, being brave and making threats. I often hear him bouncing a ball and believe he congregates after school just outside that court with his best mates. It does seem really odd that a young boy would be so bold to make such threats. I'm not denying he or anyone of a similar age can't be dangerous, but to openly talk about such things is very strange to me. The same can be said for the boy in flat 10 who kindly put forward the suggestion I should hang and that he would gladly lend a hand. 
why would his mother encourage such talk? But who am I to talk about parenting skills? Here's a recording I made a few days ago of the three musketeers outside the block. You should hear the usual abusive words, mention of burning and a threat lobbed in too. <laughs> 